Hey, I was uh, just sitting here working on my computer, uh, getting ready to relax and have a beer, and thought I'd try my hand at a beer review. So this is my first attempt at one, and um, I picked out this. Uh, it's a North Coast Brewing Old Stock Ale. It's a uh, it's the 2007 um, edition of this. Um, it's an old style ale. It's uh, it's uh, it's brewed with uh, European hops or English hops, basically, and it's uh, it uh, this this 2007 version is a 11.7 uh, percent alcohol, so it's pretty high. I see the 2008 edition; they're actually up to a 12.5 alcohol. Um, the bitterness is at uh, 36 IBUs, and the original gravity is 1.100, so it's uh, Pretty hardcore, as as shown by the uh, high alcohol. So, uh, and, uh, North Coast Brewing is out of uh, Fort Bragg, California. They can be found at uh, www.northcoastbrewing.com. Um, some of the more popular beers that they produce that you might know about is uh, Red Seal Ale, Old Number Thirty Eight Stout, um, Acme IPA, uh, Old Rasputin. Uh, they have a lot of interesting beers. Uh, none of these are really particularly my favorites, but they, they do a lot of really interesting stuff. So give it a try. Let's crack this puppy open and see what it's like. Normally you'd want to drink this out of more like a snifter type glass, but I don't have any of those, so when all else fails, a typical pint glass will work just fine. This is the, uh, can't really see it, but it's a uh, Hogtown Home Brewers glass. Uh, the town I live in, Gainesville, Florida, was originally named Hogtown, so that's the story behind that. So anyway, let's give this one a try. It's a nice dark amber color. Looks really good. Smells really good already. Very, it's very malty sweetness to it, a lot of malty sweetness to it, like uh, most high alcohol beers will have. But it, it does have a good balance. There are some, there's a fair amount of hops there. You can really taste, and uh, it's pretty good. It's got a good, good, nice, good mouth feel. So this was a really good, interesting beer to try out, and. Uh, Hopefully you can find some of this to try it yourself. Uh, it was actually fairly affordable. I don't know, I think it was like 350 or something for this bottle and for a beer and this high alcohol. It's a pretty good deal. A couple of final thoughts on this uh, Old Stock Ale. It's it's not really my style too much. It's, a, it's, it's basically a strong ale. Um, I'm more into like a Porter or Stout or a, uh, an American IPA style, and this just doesn't have any of those aspects at all to it. It's very sweet. It has some hops to it, but they're English hops, and I really like American hops and a lot more of them in the beer. Um, this is uh, this is actually like a like a a strong ale version of like if you like the their old Rasputin, this is pretty close to that, but it's a, like a lighter version uh, with a lighter hop, or lighter malt, I mean. So, that's what I think of it. It's not for me, but uh, a lot of people like this style, so maybe you do. Give it a try.